show you. This is for my buddy Brian. He uh, wanted an Anarchy build. So um, this is the first dial that we've done in a watch from uh, my engraver. So uh, spent a little time on this one. We did a brass one. And then your black distress back there is from the laser just doing multiple passes in different directions to kind of make it look distressed so um so yeah so in brass i went around and pipped the outsides of it all the way around uh he wanted a bead blasted uh setup so he did a bead blasted case a bezel i have never done i only had one of them so i thought uh, he should get it so really cool looking tapered bezel around there uh, bead blasted crown and he wanted like an iron cross style on there and then bead blasted um, with super fadey logo but it's on there uh, bead blasted clasp so a full bead blasted build the brass style black background I did a silver omega style handset so that you could see through uh, the hands into uh, the logo so some of the hands that I have are really big and I thought eh, they kind of cover up the A too much so I uh, went with that style so we could see through it. Um, large window exhibition case back. I went with a brass uh, or gilded rotor to kind of go with the flow of that. Um, stainless steel movement holder in there. And then we put this on one of my Italian leather straps with off-white stitching. A um, little half-circle branded logo that we do in there. Super faded out. You can rub on it and make it a little bit even more faded in there so kind of cool so uh it's just there but it's uh, supposed to just be uh something distressed so uh yeah and at an angle you can kind of see it again actually you gotta kind of bounce some light off of it there you go when you hit the light on there you can kind of see it's still in there but um that's your build man i hope you like it i thought it turned out pretty killer um, just to show you your bits of loom, what I can show you in the in the daytime, your pips going around there, and then your handset. So, uh, did them all in green. Green for you. So, there you go, man. Uh, bezel can turn left, can turn right. It's on there pretty tight, just because um, I think it has to do with the... Uh, that bead blasting or something like that. Though you're taking some stuff off there, it just makes it a little more aggressive. So you can turn left and right, though it won't matter on your setup. Automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, you can wear it, you can put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not gonna be very active, you wanna pre-wind it to make sure you don't lose any time. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads. So you hear it clicking. At that point, you can wind it, and a wind is a turn away from you. Backwards doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing to go back and forth. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you will keep time mixed with the little bit of movement with the rotor that you're doing. If you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 plus hour power reserve, uh, which is what I do. I do that and then set them down, make sure they're keeping time the next day, make sure that the movement's good, the hands aren't bound or anything. Um, you cannot overwind it. You can do this all day if you want. It doesn't matter. And if you pull it to the one and only click, you can now set your time. You also feel your wobble crown. It will deflect lateral pressure from going into the movement. Uh, essentially, he's got a little ball joint out there. Uh, but if you don't like that, you can just kind of pull it tight to where it's not doing that. That's kind of the intent anyway. Okay, Google. What time is it? It's 12.15 p.m. Yeah, I thought it was about 12.15. And uh, that's it. Push it right back over. And put it down. Yeah, if you bind that hand up, if you put a little bit of tension as you're kind of putting that on there, you'll see that that second hand will stop, but then it will jump back to where it's supposed to be. That's what you saw. Um, if you just do it nice and quick, you won't even notice it. But if you're sitting there, you're kind of like trying to fine tune it, and you're putting it in there, and you're kind of putting that weird tension on there or holding it, you'll see that your second hand will stop. So it's kind of interesting feature. I do it from time to time. But uh, that's your build, man. Uh, matching beads, as always. Got some real cool, like, busted up in the beads in there, too, man. But uh, matching beads is always to go with it. If you wear it, it's cool. If you don't wear it, it's cool. But they'll be in there. Uh, also, you're going to have one of these special edition uh, brown 
boxes and then this will come with watch cleaner as always this is good on all glass and metal parts non-streaking non-toxic non-residue you'll also have some leather conditioner this is good to keep this leather strap perfectly soft just apply a tiny bit on there let it soak in you probably won't need to use that that much on this leather strap this is a uh, super thick leather with um, sealed edges but uh, if you do probably apply it to the back side that's where you'd feel it'd be rough on your skin um, but just use what you need and then lastly some fine scratch remover this is good on all glass and i'm sorry this is good on your glass only this is an acrylic glass and you can scratch it if you do put a tiny bit on it and buff against it filling that scratch and uh, in about 15 20 seconds you will knock it out this is just novus 2 from amazon repackaged it's essentially like poly watch um there's enough in there to last you your watch so as always brian thank you for your support and uh, I will get these sent out to you in a smaller box uh, up to Canada. So I uh, appreciate you a ton, buddy. And um, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out. I'll see what I can do. And if uh, you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.